what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! <laughs> Last time, we entered Calais, and this is Kaylee, Calais, I don't remember. This is the first time I've recorded in a long time. Uh, I didn't actually... I play this game in portions. I'll practice it, I'll take a bunch of notes, and then I'll record it. I didn't actually catch up to everything I wanted to in my notes, so there might be a few things I'm forgetting about. I think I'm okay. I'll just keep that in mind. Um... So, last time I ended off in this inn, and there's a lot of people in here, there's a lot of, like, dialogue and stuff, however, we're actually gonna skip over this for now, because if we talk to, uh, certain people, it actually advances the plot, and I don't actually want to do that yet, at least with this portion, so we will come back to here, uh, in a bit. For now, let's head up to the- to the next screen. I hear close, it was incredible, I'd love to see a huge carnival! A huge mountain! North of the river erupted violently. I think it was called Mount Taylor. To the north, eh? We've traveled quite far. Is that really where we are? Alright, let's head to the castle here. This is Lord Hammond's palace. The Lord is away. Please be gone. We will happily welcome visitors once Lord Hammond has returned. Leave this to me. It is I. Please permit me to see Lady Leanna. It is I! Do you not recognize me? I am Ivan, servant to Lord Hammett. Ivan? I don't recognize you. You're, not, you're so tan, but it really is you, Ivan. Oh, it's Ivan. You've grown so much in such a short time, Ivan. <laughs> I really changed that much. <laughs> I don't see any change, but sure, let's play along. <laughs> really? I'm surprised. It doesn't feel like it's been that long. Yeah, it, I don't think it has been either, but okay. That doesn't matter. What's important is that the thieves freed you! Please, tell us. Will Lord Hammond be freed soon, too? Uh-oh. Uh, they don't know yet. Well, they do know, but I guess they don't know the whole story. Freed? Lord Hammond is a prisoner? You can- I haven't kind of already suspected this, though. You haven't heard? I could see we'll need to fill you on everything. It's a private matter. Would your friends please leave? Uh... I, I guess so, I don't want to. No, Isaac! There are no secrets between us! Very well, then. Why were you not with Lord Hammett? Is it Hammett? I think just Hammett, right? Hmm... I remained in vault to look for a stolen rod. Stolen? Someone stole his rod? <laughs> Penis jokes. Yes, the shaman's rod, but I was able to recover it. And Lord Hammond must still be imprisoned in Lampa. I must report this to Lady Lyanna. Ivan, come see Lady Lyanna with me. You can explain it all to her. Isaac, you saw Lord Hammond heading north, didn't you? Yep. That must have been what Lord Hammond went toward Lampa. Lady Lyanna Lian will be glad to hear your tale. Please come with me and tell her your full story. I don't think she'll actually be happy to hear it, but I mean, it's probably important that she listens to it. Is <laughs> one of these like sepia tone? Yeah, I guess that's the correct word here. Scenes. It's much better than actually having dialogue of them retelling everything that we've already seen in the game. So I'll gladly accept this. When I heard that you were back, Ivan, I had dared to hope that Lord Hammond had returned with you. We thought Lord Hammond had been released from Lumpa too. We sent the ransom money they demand. Did, so he should return soon, right? I don't know. Uh, what's been happening in Lumpa these days? The leadership in Lumpa have passed from its founder, Lumpa, the noble thief, to his son, Dompa, and then to Lumpa's grandson. Dompa is a very evil man. His father, Dompa, is heartbroken at the state of Lumpa now. When did you send the ransom money? Let's see. First, the volcano erupted, and, the, and then the ransom note came at, right after the eruption. We rushed the money to them right away, I remember it well. It's been quite a while since the eruption. Is it possible they have no intention of letting Lord Hammond go? I... probably true. I think so too, Isaac? Are you saying Dorompa won't release Hammett? I agree with Ivan. If they are going to release him, they'd have done it by now. Yeah, that's probably not what she wanted to hear. I'm sorry, La Lady Leanna, but I think Ivan might be right. Look at those luscious flowing locks. 
Surely is pretty, 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 though. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What should we do? How can we rescue Lo Hammett? What? What if something has happened to him? Let us handle this. My lady, this is exactly what soldiers of Clay are here for. Yes, Lady Liana. Please let us handle this. Command us to attack and we shall. I could not do that, not without thinking over carefully. How can we guarantee Hammett's safety if we send soldiers to attack? I could not do it. I could not put Hammett's life at risk. Can we do something to help? Probably. Oh, well, it's about time you start agreeing with me, Isaac. What do you mean? I've, I've always agreed with you, Garrett. That's probably not true. But I feel like <laughs> that line always kind of threw me for a loop. Like, what? Garrett's always like acting like I hate him, but I don't. He's my best friend. What are you two talking about? Garrett thinks we could help. It is too dangerous. If you fail, your lives will be in danger too. Besides, don't you have your own quest to pursue? Yeah. I thought so. I knew there had to be a reason I've, I haven't stayed with you instead of directly returning from Vault. That is pretty irresponsible for him. I mean, I guess this was the only way to Vault anyway, so it made sense for him to travel with, with us, so never mind. <laughs> Did you can just swim across the river or something? Then what will happen to Lord Hammond? Hammond is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. Sound like hopeful words. Forest hopefulness. Shall wait for another message from Lumpa. Lady Lyanna, I cannot leave like this. I'll be fine, Ivan. Hammett would not want to distract you from... I apologize. I've said more than I should. Sounds like Hammett knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep it a secret no longer. Very well, I should tell you. I actually don't know what she's about to say, I don't remember. Sora, an oath to a Jupiter Adept. A Jupiter Adept? Have you heard of the village called Vale? Yep, I sure have, alright. You are from Vale? Really? Then the prophecy was true. What prophecy? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Aleph, Ivan must depart on our journey with warriors from Vale, so it was foretold. I've heard nothing of, of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Calais. He was off traveling. Hammett felt a, felt he had reached an impasse, impasse as a merchant then. Impasse? Impasse? I think it's impasse, isn't it? Yeah. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. He's in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world when some edups appeared and saved his life. He had lost consciousness. When he awoke, he found himself in their village. Just a moment, am I from that village? Yes. The, adep the adepts gave him the shaman's rod and you, along with some doubloons. Doubloons? Doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? Yes, let's see, you are called... I am Mia, Lady Lyanna. It was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. Business advice? Hammett? The greatest known merchant ever known? Yes, Garrett. Hammett has the adepts to thanks for his success. Wow, I've never heard of anything like that. He was advised to buy silk and sien and salt and toby. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that uh, was when Hammett picked up his knack for business. Did he have to promise th them anything in return? Ah, yes, Ivan. It is something you will need on your journey. Something we need on our journey. The adept asked Hammett to use the shaman's rod to obtain it. A little cough break. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then, three years ago, a storm struck, one that hit only Mount Aeolith. Hammett was worried that time was running out. Because of a storm? Huh. But he managed. But he had managed to unearth a clue just to, I find it kind of weird he'd think that out, he, it was time was running out when a storm only hit Mount Ale. How would that affect him in any way, unless he was in Vale, which he was not? Hmm. That Ivan is why he took you uh, with, with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea. So that must be why he left the rod in my care, but then... No, Ivan, you mustn't blame yourself. 
It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen. And ultimately, that's why Lord Hammett is being held in Lumpa. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You can't blame yourself. What will happen to Hammett? I will handle this. Sorry, I know I'm all coffee all of a sudden. Oh, <clears throat> Excuse me. And don't forget the soldiers of Calais. Continue your journey and do not worry about Hammett. I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you more about the Shaman's Rod. No, don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help us find the thing we need for our quest, right? Will you look for it? The, 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 what, what? Look for the Shaman's Rod? We have it! What? Look for what? The thing we need in our quest? That's not specific at all! If Isaac says we will, then there's nothing to worry about. Very well, take care of yourselves. Return to your posts, everyone. Alright, so, um... <clears throat> so we've got a rescue mission on our hands. We have to go save Hammett. Even though she obviously does not want us to. <clears throat> Donopo is a very shrewd man. He may have sent spies into Calais. I can't, we can't risk sending our subversive yet. Not the button I meant to press. Is this the right decision, Hammett? Am I making a mistake? Aww. Yeah, that's gotta suck. <clears throat> Essentially, her surrogate son, kind of, Ivan, sending him away to, you know, he could die on the road, and then Hammett is also a prisoner. Lana is putting up a strong front wherever people are around. It's so hard to see her like this. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Liana was crying again last night. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, that's so sad. Well, these are scary-ass gargoyles here, spitting out water. That's spoopy, and I don't like it. Um, Chest in left room. Okay, apparently there's a chest in here. It's actually a relatively small castle. There's like armor guys right there. Weird. A water jacket. What a weird thing to just find laying in here. Oh, some lucky paper I never used. Lucky paper. In case you don't remember, because this is kind of a weird one to remember. Lucky pepper is your chance of. Wait, uh, I'm looking for health actually. Do I not? Where's? Oh, you don't. Huh. This lucky pepper really only would affect health. <clears throat> it affects health. I think we're gonna use it on Ivan. Eleven luck. I believe that uh, luck is your chance of dodging an attack, but just a normal like attack. So let's peek into the wardrobe. There's a, there's a turban. It's a symbol of Calais soldiers. Yeah, it's interesting. There's a lot of like turbans in this game and stuff. We're just supposed to be protecting on the laws of Ankara. The Nepal must truly be evil to make such a lot evil. Um, barrel and right room, bottom right. Okay. The book entitled Business and You. Just between two people is all important for successful business. Does the leg legacy of Lord Hammett's silk trading come to an end? No, it's fine, dude. You're right. I never should have said that. I feel terrible now. You probably. God dang it! Lord Hammett is a legend among merchants. Clay can't survive without him. To think, I almost went on that caravan with Hammett. Yeah, I guess that's probably good you didn't. So, <clears throat> if Hammett's a prisoner. Did they also keep all the people from the caravan as well? Wow, this place is much smaller than I remember it being. The townsfolk don't know about Lord Hammett yet, do they? Ah, see, that's some interesting. Yeah, I guess they didn't. Actually, we, we already knew about that. Just Like I said, it's been a while since I've recorded, so it's kind of hard to remember between things. I'm sure the villagers would panic if they knew Hammett was a hostage. You must be sure not to show it. I wonder who this guy is. Just like maybe just an importante guy, I guess. Uh, the good host. Attention to details. A key to hospitality. Apparently there's a barrel in here somewhere, one of these ones. Lord Hammett will be released soon, right? Yes. Hope so, otherwise Lionel will be overwhelmed with sorrow. Uh, should be one of these barrels, right? Yeah, here we go. It's so nice to actually have a reveal now. Don't have to, like, guess anymore. <laughs> and we're up downstairs. Nothing here, right? Just a barrel in the right room, bottom right. Check it out. Okay. There's also, like, a... <clears throat> A jail cell looking area, but you can, if you look carefully, you can kind of see something in the top there, right above Isaac. It's a staircase. <laughs> uh, so maybe, yeah, this is a very small castle. We're just used to like Bilbin's castles, I guess. It's more of just like a place to uh, live. Soldiers of Clay will handle the matter ourselves. Please go on your journey as Lady Leanna requires. So all like four of the soldiers. One day I'll get that right. I'm worried about Lord Hammond, but Lady Leanna insists we do nothing. I only hope for Lord Hammond's safety. 
We'll take care of the kidnapping incident just fine. You continue on your quest. Where's the clay? We'll save Lord Hammett no matter the toll. Yeah, it's a pretty poopy situation. What, what, like, I remember in Game of Thrones, no spoilers, uh, but there is like a situation where someone's um, abducted, I guess, and I remember they just all had to come to the conclusion that this person that was very close to these other people that we just have to accept they are already dead. Incredible! So is the Ocean Crane was talking about. This man, this this part of the game sticks out my mind quite a bit. Kerrigal is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true ocean is totally open. Aww, <laughs> guys, just had to ruin it for Gary. What? But this looks just the way Crane described it. Someday I want to see a real ocean, Isaac. I'm a real boy. Thanks, asshole. Do you want to go to Toby? Can go any further along the Silk Road. If you're going to Toby, you'll have to cross the Kerrigal Sea. God dang it! The Silk Road closed, everyone will have to cross by ship. The camp stands a big lot of money. He did it, didn't he? He caused the earthquake. Ugh. Are you going to take the ship? Yes. When you reach Toby, please pass a message to my daughter. Her mother says that tickets are too expensive, she can't go there. Aww. Uh, you can't take Silk Road any further than this. Everyone who goes uh, to check gives up and comes back. Well, isn't this great? We can't take Silk Road and Colossal is starting. My daughter left Toby to meet us at the docks. I'm really sad about this. If I shouldn't die. <gasps> a jinn. So this is actually Silk Road here. If this wasn't in the way, this tiny landslide that I could totally just walk over if you wanted to. And then we could go through here. This is actually one of the few areas, like a lot of parts, like, you know, the bridge, the Silk Road crossing, like right before Alton Mine, like all that stuff is fixed. This is never actually fixed. So even after we get around this little obstacle by, you know, obviously we're going to be sailing the sea here instead of taking the Silk Road. This is never fixed, which is kind of unfortunate, but can't take Silk Road, so everyone was in a pickle. Too expensive to get a ticket on a ship. I mean, I understand, like, caravans and stuff can't come through here. <clears throat> we think people would be able to get around here. I mean, seriously, just put, like, a freaking ladder up here, man. Put a ladder, climb over, or just, you know, just crawl over these rocks, but nope. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here. Uh, um, the ship will be open until the tourists arrive. If we look around. <clears throat> Okay. This is why, by the way, the t until the tourists arrive, you could explore the ship. Um, if we explore the inn enough, those are the tourists they're talking about. So that's why we're, we, I didn't want to do anything in there yet, just to kind of show you guys what the ship was like before that happens. Today there's supposed to be a lot of tourists on the ship. We're not gonna check the tickets until the tour group gets here. Okay. This is a totally on ship. This music right here, I absolutely love it. <laughs> and Nintendo seems to love this music a lot too, because whenever they do promotional material, even for like the very uh, long, long, long-awaited uh, third Golden Sun game, this was the this is the music they always use for like the trailers and stuff. For some reason, I don't know, but it is a really good song. It's a really good like pump-up song, exploration song. I like it a lot. It's too bad that this song isn't in the game for very long. This is the only instance of it, but it's still really, really good. There are a lot of passengers. I wonder if we'll be able to set sail. It really makes me wonder. Why? Is, is the passenger too heavy? Are you calling them fat? The replacement ship from Toby should have been here by now. You think something happened while they were crossing the Caragal? Ooh, sounds like a mystery! We got one here, mate. Hello. We can't send our ship without hiring some warriors. Some warriors, eh? I wonder if there ain't no revival warriors around here. Too late to hire mercenaries now. There's no time. Yar. No chance to make some money. It'd be a waste to pass it up. Oops. I meant to mind read you. Once it's sale now, I'd be admitting we were afraid, Kaja. That won't happen. I would let it. Uh, this looks important. Can't examine it though. It's, just, it's an anger. Uh, do you say anything interesting? Setting out a ship when it's this dangerous is like setting out to die. If we check this jar over here. Yeah, we got the nut. We got the nut. Some stairs here. Oh, with Isaac's feet sticking out through the bottom. Don't worry about it. Uh, is there anything here? Do, 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 do. Wheel room downstairs. Bottom. Barrel bottom right. Here we go. Lucky man, all that. It's kind of weird because all these rooms kind of get a little bit of views, except this one. The only thing that's ever down here is a lucky metal. That's it. There's no reason to ever come down in this room again. 
This, we got some nice, delicious apples. Oh, I didn't know we could have these boxes. That's kind of funny. I don't know, that's kind of weird to me. Uh, it's kind of the mask. I really like this. I think this looks really beautiful. Thumbnail? Alright, 20 minutes. Okay, this is actually a good spot to end anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying very hard to get centered here. It's not really working very well. <laughs> Next episode, we'll continue to explore the ship. And then we'll go back to the inn, get the passengers on here, and maybe set sail. Thank you all very much for watching. Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!